We're coming down from the first wave of a solar storm that actually has bumped us up to storm levels, and the sun gives us a new sneak peek at the upcoming cycle. Those stories are more in the news this week. Space weather this week is a bit stormy. We have a huge corona hole that's covering the whole face of the sun this week. We've already been hit by the fast wind from one edge of this corona hole, and it's bumped us up to storm conditions and brought aurora down to mid-latitudes. Meanwhile, we've kind of calmed down for the moment, but the storm likely will pick up again, maybe not quite as strongly, but we could easily be up to active conditions, maybe even storm conditions, on and off for easily the next few days and possibly through the rest of the week. But that's not even the biggest story. The coolest story is actually this little region down here at high latitudes in the southern hemisphere. If you blink, you miss it. But this little region has the right polarity and is at the right latitude for it to be a sneak peek into the news cycle. Switching to your M-flare threat meter, you can see the X-ray flux continues to be incredibly low, and by proxy that means the solar flux is also low. So you amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you're still dealing with poor conditions for radio propagation. As a matter of fact, the last time you actually had anything close to a C-class flare was back on the 3rd of April. Since then, things have continued to be very quiet. We have a spotless sun right now, and it looks like it's going to stay that way for the foreseeable future. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see we've actually been hovering between normal to unsettled conditions easily since the beginning of April. But then there on the 9th, you can see we got hit by the fast wind from this coronal hole. It's bumped us up to storm levels even for a short while already, and it's brought aurora down to mid-latitudes. But for now, we've actually gotten back down to unsettled conditions, but don't expect that to last. We could easily bump back up into active conditions sporadically here over the next few days, maybe even in through the weekend, before things begin to settle down. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. And what you can immediately see on the backside of the sun is there are no active regions, no bright spots anywhere. This is going to continue to make you amateur radio operators and emergency responders groan because this means the solar flux will not be boosted, maybe even for the next two weeks. But what you do see is a dark, coronal hole that's gracing the backside, and it's actually going to become visible here in the next week, which means easily within the next 10 days to two weeks, we could see yet another solar storm. And although activity hasn't been all that strong, the solar storming has been strong enough to bring us some gorgeous aurora in many parts of the world, like this in Finland and in Norway. It was seen in Sweden. And in Iceland, there's a marriage proposal in Iceland. It's one of two you'll see this shot. And as we fly over the pond, it was seen in an airliner from San Francisco to Frankfurt. And as we reach the Western Hemisphere, it was seen in Yellowknife. It was also seen in Alberta, Canada. And in Manitoba. In British Columbia. Now we drop down into the United States and it was seen in Michigan and in North Dakota, in Wisconsin, and there's the second marriage proposal, and she said yes, and in Minnesota, and then as we go down south to the Aurora Australis, it was seen in Antarctica and also from space. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are in the middle of that solar storm that's kind of sending us some pockets of fast wind here and there. At high latitudes, NOAA's expecting active conditions with about a 50% chance of a major storm. At mid-latitudes, we're only expecting unsettled to possibly active conditions with about a 25% chance of a minor storm. And these conditions are going to be sporadic, and they'll probably go on easily for the next few days even possibly through the weekend.
Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything still is in the green when it comes to solar flares. We have a spotless sun right now, so we have no risk for uh, a radio blackout, which should make you GPS operators happy. But you poor radio amateurs are extremely upset. We are still hovering between poor propagation and marginal propagation for the HF bands, and it will continue to stay like that easily over the next week. So the space weather this week continues to be a bit stormy, which is good news for you aurora photographers because we've had aurora down to mid latitudes already and we'll probably get another chance for that easily over the next few days, maybe even in through the weekend. Now this is also good news for you GPS operators, as long as you stay away from the aurora, you're enjoying some good uh, clean signals on the day side and even on the night side. But you poor amateur radio operators and emergency responders, this storm is a little tough for you. It's a little too active to, to give you some good conditions unless you're doing auroral propagation. And then of course on the day side you're dealing with poor solar flux. So radio propagation isn't much better there either. So all I can say is kind of weather the storm over the next few days and things should get a lot better. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.